What is up, everyone? Today we're going to be looking at Ting Lu EX, a new card coming from the Snow uh, Hazard Clay Burst set. Ting Lu EX has ability Earth is Curse. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, opponents' Pokemon that have any damage counters on them have no abilities. So it is a blanket white Pokemon ability that shuts down anything that has damage counters on it. So cards like Howlucha will help you tremendously to get those damage counters on the board, Gape Jaw Bog, things of that nature. And then Ting Lu's attack for three fighting energies says put two damage counters on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and does 150 damage to the active. Today we're going to be looking at the Japanese YouTube channel's review or gameplay of the deck and we're going to see how this deck functions. We'll jump right into it. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, please like and subscribe. I like to review these because it's a lot of fun. Um, and I think it's just like a lot of fun to look at cards early and see these lists, the preliminary lists that are drawn up. And I can give you guys a little bit of an idea of what I think should be happening with these lists. Ting Lu and Qian Pao, I think, are the two that have the most potential out of the four Ruin Legendaries. Qian Pao being the most powerful, paired with the back Excalibur. But Ting Lu, I think, has a lot of potential with cards like Grant, uh, Gutsy Pickaxe, things like that to accelerate to your board. We have a lot of fighting support that's just been around, but no good fighting Pokemon to pair it with. And Ting Lu seems like a really good um, user of these fighting cards that we've been sitting on for quite a while. So let's see how our contestants here set up the game. We see a Comfe and a Ting Lu. See, Comfe can still use abilities because it's not damaged, so that's the kind of downside because it's like it's like a nerfed Clef Key. We're going to see Shoes getting rid of a Gutsy Pickaxe. Oh, come on, dude. Gutsy Pickaxe is a free one. Why would you not take the free one and maybe getting an energy? Squawkabilly. I believe Squawkabilly can only be used on turn one. It's like discard your hand, draw six, um, I think. So it's only on the first turn. Three fighting sitting the discard and not probably the greatest. Uh, I don't actually know if we have a fighting acceleration from the discard. I don't believe we do. Um... Squawkabilly, oh, we do. We have, have Koridon. Koridon hitting the board. Another Shoes, just digging, digging, digging. Koridon hits the board. Koridon gets two fighting at the end of your turn. So immediately, Ting Lu is powered up to start the game. That's actually really scary. Um, I don't know how reliable that is, but Squawk Nest Ball for Squawkabilly seems very, very good on discard decks like this that just need to set up. Um, I think Squawkabilly is a very, very good card. I think this card is going to be very strong. So keep, you guys, uh, keep your eyes out for Squawkabilly and picking these up. Also, my haircut did look like Squawkabilly at a certain point. So uh, Lost Zone here is going to want to just set up their board. And do a ton of damage and use their abilities while they can. Um, obviously, once Halucha hits the board or like a Gape Jaw Bog or something hits the board, the, the abilities for this deck will kind of fly out the window. So we want to be able to use this as much as possible. We we miss off the Poke Gear. We see a Jet Energy coming through. Another um, attack here. Uh, I th I don't know. Maybe maybe we keep the Manaphy. I don't know what we get rid of because it's put two damage counters, I guess. So maybe that, go just, that just goes through it. Um, that just goes through Manaphy, so it's kind of useless. Uh, Drapion is gone. That's a perfect one. There's Colrus. Um, so now the cycle is going. We're already at five. So Cram gets the attack off. We're going to see Rope. Squawkabilly being thrown to the active. Thrown to the Wolves. Thrown to the Cram. It's a bird on bird fight. Uh, heavy Ball. I don't know what kind of Lost Box we're actually playing here. Um, but we're going to see a big 110 damage coming from Cram. Ting Lu gets a free swing here for sure though. Switch Cart. Alright. That's pretty nasty. <laughs> um... Immediately heal. Uh, we're going to see an Ultra Ball. Another second switch card in the hand, just casually. We're going to see the Howlucha putting two damage counters onto the come phase. Uh, and immediately, the third come phase is going to get damage counters on it as well. So we're going to have all three come phase, not able to use abilities here. Uh, and the Tinglu takes the knockout. Um, putting the 20. Oh no, he's just researching first. Uh, yeah, Tinglu comes down. Attached to Tinglu here. That's a lot of fighting energies in this deck too. Gutsy Pickaxe, and it's a hit. Uh, that's pretty lucky. Um, <laughs> that's that's crazy. I can't believe that hit. Uh, so we're gonna see the knockout and twenty damage counters on Comfy. Now all the Comfies can no longer use abilities. Um, so now our our friend here has to rely on Colors. Nope, we're gonna have a boss on the onto Coridon here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use the abilities once again. Just maneuver, maneuver around. Uh, Nest Ball. Getting another cram just for damage, damage's sake. Switch card coming out, we're healing. Um, using the ability once again. I assume we're playing some sort of Mirage Gate box, so we just need to move to it as quickly as possible. Oh, a retreat, another one going. Let's see. A uh, rope. Halucha uh, coming back into the active. Halucha is just a free prize given up here, which is fine. I think we're doing a two prize strategy on the other side. So the cram taking a free prize here does not change anything. Tingle is going to come back into the active here. Uh, Raihan was pitched, interestingly enough, last turn, so Raihan is no longer an option, unless there's a second Raihan in hand. I don't know what that stadium does. Um, probably should know what that stadium does. I have, does. If anyone has any idea, please let me know. 
I don't know. I don't know what that does. <laughs> oh, never mind. We're getting bumped for the new stadium. But I also don't know what it does. Oh, we're just pick we're just picking up our deck and getting a Pokemon. Um, what is happening? <laughs> so we're gonna loss on a guy. Uh, gear coming again. Come on, we're looking for a chorus probably. There's a chorus. Uh, we've gone through a lot of cards in our deck without really doing anything, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, there we see the Sableye, we see the energy attachment, switch card coming through once again. Um, we're going to do the 12 damage counters, probably taking out the Squawkabilly for... F no, it's... Wait, where's Squawkabilly? Oh, there it is. He's under the guy's hand. Squawkabilly gets knocked out with the rest on Ting Lu. Just kind of put yourself in a position like this. Um, if there's Zard in this deck, you probably don't need to actually go after the Ting Lu immediately. You can probably put the damage counters on Coridon, or maybe just go for one Ting Lu on the bench and just, like, uh, hedge your bets, kind of. Um, because Zard is probably your best way to close out this game as Lost Box. We're going to ultra away uh, all these cards. Getting a... Oh, plus 50 HP. Iono. Shuffle to the bottom of your deck. It's an N. Card's broken. Our first Iono showing. Who's an Iono enthusiast in chat? Please let me know. And this guy just hits. This guy is absolutely nuts, man. Like, Gutsy Pickaxe, this is this is his card. Like, this guy should always play Gutsy Pickaxe. It's absolutely broken for this gentleman. Um, down to three prize cards. Three to three on the board. Uh, we're looking for probably... Is that a third cram? Hello? Um, we're going to go ahead and use... I think the stadium is just nest ball. It has to be. Uh, Cram hits the board as well. We're going to see a rope. Uh, throw up the other Ting Lu. Let's see some damage with the Cram. 110. Very simple. Um, this turn a boss onto the Sableye would be really good. Um, bossing Sableye and putting the two damage counters on Cram, making it so it can't use its ability. Or we're just going to knock it out, looks like, and put two damage counters on the uh, other Comfy, making so there's no more uh, flower select things available. Two prizes remaining. Uh, a little bit of a tough game here. A prize, a knockout needs to be taken from our hero. So we can see 12 damage counters can get played uh, here. Next turn, a boss. A boss onto the other Ting Lu on the bench. Uh, would give us a Haolucha KO, but it looks like that's not the angle we're going for. Uh, I don't really know what the angle here we're going for is. Uh, we're going to see a Penny, and that should actually just seal up the game. Uh, now I don't think there's a route to win as a Lost Box player. Because what do you do? Like, you just don't have the damage. All the damage you've done is now, like, off the board. Your, your board is getting absolutely destroyed by Ting Lu. Um, I, I don't know. This, this I mean, the Ting Lu deck does not seem particularly impressive. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But I think in a whole scale, uh, it's not... It doesn't need to do anything. And there it is. There's the knockout. Ting Lu is our winner of the show match. I want to see this list. I want to see what's in this list. So we've got four Ting Lu, two Crydon. Two Halucho, which I think is good. Maybe you need a third. Squawkabilly is good. I don't think you need Deancey. I guess you could maybe take some time to power it up behind there. Um, Greninja, I think, makes sense. Because uh, Greninja plus Coridon just sets up your board. No VIP pass is interesting. I guess you don't have that many Pokemon. I would probably want to play a fourth Nest over four Ultra. Because I don't think there's actually Pokemon we want to Ultra Ball for. Besides the Halucho. Um, the three of this tool makes a lot of sense too. Penny makes sense. Uh, Grant makes sense. Grant lets you thin, get back to what you need to do. Pickaxe makes sense, shoes make sense. I don't know, I still don't know what this stadium does. But overall, this list makes a lot of sense. Um, maybe there's cards that can be changed better. Uh, but uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content. Like and subscribe for more Japanese review videos. Thank you.